Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a video about my new units that I have with My First Wig and RPG Show. This is the My First Wig Victoria Loose Curly unit. This is the 20 inch unit, okay? This is actually the exact same wig as my previous curly units that I've showed you guys. So the curly middle part unit, the shorter one, and the curly bang unit. This is the exact same unit, it's just long. My first wig is having a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. It is Cyber Monday today, so if you wanted to get a discount on the wig, you definitely can until November 30th. And for everybody who's purchased this Victoria unit already, Thank you so much. I love you guys' pictures. I love seeing you guys rocking the wig. It just looks gorgeous on everyone. So thank you so much. And if you have purchased the wig and you want to send me pictures and want me to see it, make sure to tag me, hashtag Victoria Loose Curly and at Victoria Slogan on Instagram and Twitter. I would love to see your pictures so I can like repost them. So I'm going to show you in this video how I basically maintenance my curly units. A lot of people ask, about maintenance, what products I use on the hair, how I define the curls, how I take care of it. This video is in collaboration with my friend Taylor. I wanted to show you guys how somebody else styles it. She shows you guys how to lay the wig and she even put it up in a ponytail and all that. I'm not that advanced. I would recommend that you guys check out her video, check out her channel so you can get your life, learn how to slay your wig, boo. This is the wig straight out the box. I'm gonna show you guys how I styled it like this and got it to look like this. And I'll also in this video be showing you guys my other new unit from our RPG show so stay tuned for that as well okay so here is the Victoria loose curly and I've had two other styles of this wig before I've had a shorter shoulder length style and a style with the bangs um, and a lot of you guys have asked me questions about the differences between the two they're the exact same wig one just has the bangs I didn't really think that there needed to be a separate video about that wig just because it's the exact same wig it just has bangs basically for maintenance all I do is I take the wig I run it under the faucet in the shower or in the bathtub whatever wherever I can get some water on it I get some water on it while it's completely soaking wet I make sure to brush through the hair that way the curls will be more defined brush through the curls with a Denman brush or with a tangle teaser very slowly so that I can get a uniform curl pattern and you'll notice when you're brushing through it if you brush too fast it won't give that defined look you have to brush through it really slowly so that the curls kind of clump together in the summertime when I was wearing the curly hair I did this process every day or every other day so that the curls would be defined all the time and because I was doing it every day I didn't have to wash the unit as much the only time I have to wash the unit is if I use glue or something around the hairline and it gets clumped up in there and then I have to wash that part of the hair so maybe like once or twice a month I'll wash the curly units like in its entirety I'll use a shampoo and wash it but even when I do wash it I don't normally use a whole lot of shampoo just because I don't like to dry the hair out it's curly hair so I try not to dry it out and if you find your hair getting matted or tangled for whatever reason it shouldn't but just in case it does conditioner 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 just use a lot of conditioner. This is the Victoria Loose Curly, and like I said, it's a 20 inch. Now as you can see, this is straight out of the box. I have not touched this wig at all. I haven't worn it yet. I wanted to show you guys straight out of the box what it looks like. It's pre-plucked, so it looks really, really natural. And the unit itself is a full lace. So as you can see, it is a full lace on a mesh cap here. And then this is the parting space from the ear to ear, you can part it. Now, a lot of people ask me if you can wear these wigs in a side part. Yes, you can wear this wig in a side part. All you have to do is, while it's wet, just part it wherever you want. There are adjustable straps in the back. There are also combs that you can slide into your braids if you have them. And I always have a braid going down here so that I can slide that up there. Please ignore my BBs and my CCs. Um, they are really a mess. This is all that I do, you guys. It's the most simple process. If it's a straight unit, I don't even have to do everything that I'm about to do that I'm about to show y'all. I don't wet it, I don't straighten it, I don't do anything to it. If it comes with curls, I wear the curls. I mean, I wear it, okay? I wear the wig the way it comes. I'm gonna put the wig on without gluing it down to see how it looks. Sometimes when I first get the wig, I can get away with wearing it without gluing it at all. 
I am not an expert in frontals, laying frontals, laying wigs and stuff like that. This video, like I said, was in, is in collaboration with my girl Taylor and she shows you guys how she lays her baby hairs and lays the whole wig and makes it look natural and puts it up in a ponytail. Girl, I don't got time for all that. I am so simple and a low maintenance when it comes to my wigs. I don't wear my wigs in ponytails or high buns. I just don't. Um, if I'm going to be comfortable, I'm not going to wear a wig. I am not that advanced. I'm not that high tech, okay? I literally wear the wig how it comes out of the box. When I do glue it down, I'm probably gonna glue this part right here. And all I do is use the got to be glue and slick down my edges and then I'll slick down some of the hair um, just to make it look natural. Or I'll just stick it and let it dry and then it'll just be dry and it won't move. But that's just to get it to lay down. I usually don't go in and make my own baby hairs so I don't have to leave my own out. I like to leave out my own personal baby hairs. But if you don't want to leave any hair out or if you don't have um, any hair or edges in the front that you can use, you can most definitely make your wigs look as natural as possible by cutting baby hairs and gluing them down too. But like I said, I'm lazy and I'm not that advanced. So I'm just gonna finger comb it. I have these claws, you know, and I like to use my claws as comb. The longer the curly hair gets, the more loose the curls really are. So this is like a loose, a very loose curl. It's not super, super curly. You're not gonna get Diana Ross with this. It's cheaper the shorter your hair is. So I mean, obviously if you want something cheap, you gonna get the shorter look. So this is how it looked when I just pulled it out of the box and put it on my head. And as you can see, the curls are more wild. They're not defined, they're more frizzy. Like I could keep finger combing, finger combing through this and making it bigger. This is just the top layer that I picked out. But if I go underneath, and like pick out underneath all of this, it'll be like really big. Um, it just depends on how big you want your hair to be, if you like the big curly look, or if you like the more defined curly look. Um, all I did was run water on it, and I brushed through it with a brush like this. You wanna use one of the brushes where like there's little balls on the ends, cause that'll snag the hair. You wanna use something that ha that's like this, um, you can definitely use like a Denman brush or a Tangle Teaser or something like that. It just It makes the curls more defined. As you can see, it gives them a distinct wave pattern so that your curls are not fighting each other and throwing out gang signs. Literally all I do is I'll use a shine spray or a leave-in. This is the leave-in that I like. Briogeo Roscaro Milk. That is my favorite leave-in conditioner. And then this is the shine spray that I like. It smells awesome this is the gabrielle union flawless shine spray so i'm gonna just spray the hair with the shine spray and you want to use conditioner or shine spray or oily something so that you don't pull the hair out because curly hair does shit so i'm just brushing through it as you can see i'm brushing through it really slowly to get the clumping effect that makes the, the curls really defined this is the exact same process that I do on all my curly units. And if I ever want to revive them um, or bring them back to life after they've been sitting in a box forever, this is basically all I do. It's natural hair, like I've said before, the reason why these wigs are not super cheap and inexpensive is because they're going to last you a long time. It's a full lace unit, the hair is long, it's curly, it's soft, very, very soft in texture and you can wash it, straighten it, blow dry it, cut it, color it, you can do whatever you want to it. So it definitely is an investment. You get the opportunity to play around with it and it looks really, really, really natural. No gluing, no sewing, nothing. And it looks like it's coming out of my scalp, okay? This is not gonna go anywhere because I've slid the combs in my head. So it's not, it's not moving, like I'm pulling on it, it's not moving. So, I mean, you definitely can get the security you need without gluing it down. Um, and it looks, it to me, it looks really good. So this is my Victoria 001. This is my hashtag, first lady wig. You know, I just look like a real bougie preacher's wife. It's basically just a ombre wig. It's black at the top and then it goes to brown and then it has like blonde highlights. I love this unit. This is definitely one of my favorites. This has been my go-to wig for the past like two or three weeks and you guys have seen me post it a lot on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. 
and it is available on RPG Show. Now, all of the wigs that I've made prior to this one have been my first wig wigs, so they are available on myfirstwig.com. So this is my first RPG Show wig, and I'm really excited about it. A lot of people have complimented me on it. Um, it's a very easy, low maintenance wig. I don't like it straight. I prefer it to have some curls just because of the color. I like the way that the highlights look when it's wavy. Um, the pre plucked hairline is so amazing to me because you can just put this wig on and go. Um, the only thing I did to kind of make the wig look a little more natural is I flipped the wig inside out and I put eyeshadow on the parting area. I put some like skin colored eyeshadow or like my face powder or something, I don't remember. I think it was my face powder that I put um, on the parting area so it makes it look more like my skin tone. I actually don't have it glued down right now. Um, usually when I do brush my edges with the got to be, I'll just let that get tacky and then I'll put the wig on and it stays down pretty well. But you can do whatever techniques you like to do to glue your wigs down or sew it down if you want to. Um, you definitely can sew the wigs down. I don't like sleeping in my wigs. I don't see how people sleep in their wigs, girl. I don't do it, so I don't know. Do rag corn rolls and all. My boo sees it. Okay, I don't care. If he don't love you with a do rag on, then he don't love you. But yes, so a lot of people ask me how I store my wigs. The wigs come in a nice box, a nice sturdy box, and then inside of the box, it comes in its own carrying case. So every wig that you get will have its own case. So if you just wanted to keep this and fold it up and put it in a drawer or something, put it under your bed, under the sink, in the closet. I don't have a lot to say about this wig except that I love it. I just wanted to show it to you guys and make sure that you check out RPG Show because RPG Show is having a Cyber Monday deal. You get 20% off of your order. So that'll be like a good 80 bucks off of this wig if you wanted to try it out for yourself. And that deal also runs through November 30th. So you have until the very last day of this month. You have until Thursday to purchase this wig for 20% off. So definitely check that out. If you guys have any questions about the First Lady or Loose Curly, you definitely can ask them in the comments section. That is all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one, okay?